All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders, the Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching His word and sincerity and truth. I'm the brother Ties of War. Back at you again to do another show. It's gonna be quick, short, to the point. Lord's willing. I hope that it's edifying. May that you build upon your faith and upon salvation, because this truth is truly for our salvation. All right, that's all it is for salvation, you know, praying that the Lord Yahweh shall return and that he look at he redeems us as one of his elect. OK, so I was reading here in first Peter, the third chapter, and um, I was reading verse 12. Now it says, for the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. OK, so now. What we're reading is that you have to understand the Lord said his eyes. He says that his eyes. Excuse me. It says for the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, meaning the Lord watches the righteous. Those who striving for the for, for mastery, man, those who striving for the truth, those who in the spirit and power and rehearsing righteous acts of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, those that's out prophesizing, bidding the elect to the marriage. Putting forth their hand to the plow and not looking back. These are the, the righteous and these are who the Lord eyes is over and watching. The wicked, he don't want to hear. If you read the scriptures, you will understand the Lord told Moses and he told Jeremiah. No, he told Moses, he told Jeremiah. I believe he told Samuel that he said his eyes. He said that his, uh, his, his, he, he, he can't hear the, excuse me. He can't hear the prayers of the wicked. A matter of fact, let me get a quick scripture since I said that. I want to back this up. Um, this is, uh, I'm thinking of Jeremiah 15. Nope, Jeremiah 15 and 1. Now it says, Then said the Lord Yahweh unto me, Though Moses and Samuel, right, I said Samuel. Then it says, Through Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. And what people he's talking about? The Israelites. All right? The wicked, the wicked two thirds, man. OK, the ones that always do err from the scriptures, the ones that hate the Lord. OK, the third and fourth generation that hate the Lord. It says, though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. And it shall come to pass if they if they say unto thee, whether shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, such as for death to death, and such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine to the famine, and such as are for captivity to captivity. And I will appoint over them four kinds, saith the Lord Yahweh, the sword to slay, the dogs to tear, and the fowls of heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. Okay? So, the Lord eyes and his ears are open to the prayers of the righteous. Two thirds, the Lord don't hear you. If you in Christianity, all right, you believe in Jesus Christ. The Lord is not hearing your prayers, man. OK. And he said, if they go whether to say, well, let me read it again. He says, and it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, whether shall we go forth? You know, then he told Jeremiah to say to them. Then thou shalt tell them, thus saith Yahweh, such as are for the death to death, and such as are for the sword to sword, and such as are for the famine to famine, and such as are the captivity to captivity, man. So that means death and destruction unto you, all right? If you can't get this truth, you scoff, you mock, you misuse the prophets, you're done, all right? The Lord's ears and eyes are open unto the righteous. Now, this is 1 Peter 3 and 12. It says, for the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous and his ears are open unto their prayers didn't say the whole world all right it's talking about there and who is the there that's the elect because it boils down now to the elect of israel you got a lot of guys knowing they hebrew israelites but that don't mean the elect that don't mean that they're the elect the lord said many are called but few are chosen you know some may wake up and say yeah i know i'm a hebrew israelite and yeah he a freaking he a freaking edomite you know, but guess what? That don't mean he's going to make it. It's all about you rehearsing the righteous acts 
and being in the right spirit and doing or doing the things that the Lord delight in, man. Man, I hope I'm the elect. All right. And I'm trying to give my all to this truth and hope that the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, see me as one of his. All right. That's the God knows truth, man. All right. Because it's about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. And it's about you. Paul said, have thou faith, have it to thyself first. Let me get that. I want to get it. Um, let's get it real quick. I'm trying to make it quick and short. So, so I get for my timing. But I want to start knocking out shows to the point. You know, um, let's see here. Uh, uh, all right, Romans 14. And I believe toward the end of the verse. Now, this is uh, Romans 14 and 22. Has thou faith? Have it to thyself before Yahweh. Happy is he that condemneth not himself in the thing which he alloweth. So everything that you everything that you condemned in is because you allowed yourself to be condemned in. If you believe in a false doctrine, then you got seduced in the spirit, and because you allowed that spirit to seduce you. Okay? You got guys that's teaching that the tribes ain't the tribes. All right, you got guys teaching that the I see the the nuclear missiles are not in the scriptures. You got scoffers, you got vocab Malones out there. You got Eric Holder, I think no, damn, that's the guy killed Nipsey, the other guy. You got all these different characters, weirdos, man, that's coming up with different doctrine, hoping that they could pervert you in the gospel, man. So it says, "Hast thou faith? Have it to thyself before the Most High." It gotta be about you, you know. You have to believe, because at the end of the day, can no man save you, man? You know, no man save you. That's why you have to pray. You got to pray. You have to. You better. All right. You should be praying every day, man. It says, have thou faith, have it to thyself before Yahweh. Happy is he that condemneth not himself in the thing which he alloweth. And he that doubteth is damned if he eat because he eateth not with faith. For whatsoever is not of faith is sin. Okay? That was a powerful verse from Paul. It says, because he eateth not with faith. So, hey, you may even learn this word. But if you don't eat it with faith, that's your ass, man. All right? That's your ass, man. You know? Trying to eat this word like the guy out there in um, Baltimore that's coming against the brothers in GMS Baltimore. That character, you know, coming against the apostles, talking crazy, proud, proud guy. You know, like Elder Apostle Tahar said, he got a proud look on his face, you know, and that's one of the things the most I hate. You know, you want to eat this word just to show out. You want people to love you. Well, guess what? If you don't eat, of, eat it with faith, it says, because he eateth not with faith, for whatsoever is not of faith is sin. So if you're carnal minded and you want to do rap videos, you want to go to the gun range. You want to look like this celebrity in, 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 in Israel. All right. And this Israelite thing of ours. You want to be that type of guy. You want to be that dude. For whatsoever is not of faith is sin. So you better remember that, man. Remember that. If it's not of faith, it is sin. And that's why I'm going to say double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and the vibration and spirit that the Heavenly Father put on them to give to us. And that's just teach the word, man. How should I say he took on no reputation? You don't want to receive no reward for being a prophet. The reward you want to receive is from Yahweh Shai hands, receiving that crown, not a reward from guys that's in Babylon that don't even believe in the truth, you know, calling you a mighty Hebrew Israelite. You don't want to accept those type of things. That's not the way you want to go. I'm going to read it once again. Ah. Uh, uh, scripture messed up. I'm going to read it once again. I get it back. It says, For whatsoever is not of faith is sin. And that probably be the title of this video. For whatsoever is not of faith is sin. Okay. So let's get back to 1 Peter's the third chapter. And um and uh 12. For the eyes of the Lord are open unto the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. For the excuse me, for the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous and his ears are open unto their prayers. 
but the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. So the Lord is against those that do evil. So if you want to render evil for evil, you're going to fuck off, man. Lord said, be ye angry, but sin not, man. Somebody do evil to you, you don't go back and do evil unto them. You put those prayers up, man, and let the Lord handle it, man. <laughs> Scriptures say, vengeance belongeth belong unto the Lord, all right? Not unto us, but unto the Lord, man, you know? And if we write in the spirit with the Lord, the Lord said uh, he will recompense tribulation to those that trouble you, man, all right? It says, verse 13, and who is he that will harm you if you be followers of that which is good? So who can harm us if we're followers of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai? And we're sincerely in the inward part of man. All right. In the, in the inward part of us, sincerely following the ways of the Lord and sincerely uh, believe with faith and eateth with faith. Who can harm us, man? All right. These Edomites want to harm you. Your own people want to harm you. They demonize you. You know, they make videos against this truth because they don't believe, so they don't want you to believe. They want to cast you out as being a fool, you know? Well, guess what? The scriptures say we're fools for Yahweh Shai's sake, man. Okay? So who will harm you, man? It says, And who is he that will harm you if you be followers of that which is good? And that's why we got to put our faith and trust in the Lord because the Lord will be there. The last lesson I did I believe I titled it, uh, The Lord is Faithful. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is faithful, man. You know, if you can count on someone being faithful, you can count on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He said, when have the righteous been forsaken bread? When have the Lord have forsook the righteous? All right. Matter of fact, let me get a quick scripture. Since I'm thinking of one. All right. Let me see if I can get it real quick. Um, okay. These two. Let's see here. Um, right. This is Sirach chapter 2 and 10. Look at the generations of old and see. Did any, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever dis, dis, uh, despise that called upon him? All right. Let me read it again. This is Sirach chapter 2, and I start at 7. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy, and go not aside, lest you fall. Ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good, and for the everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generations of old, and see, did ever any trust in the Lord, and was confounded, or did any abide in his fear? And was forsaken, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? And his name is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins and saveth in a time of affliction. Woe be to the fearful heart and faint hands and sinners that go goeth two ways. Woe unto him that is faint hearted. For, for, for he believeth not, therefore shall he not be defended. You see? And you could go on, man. That's a bad scripture. That's a bad chapter. A beginning principle chapter. And fearing the Lord. And one thing, one thing the Lord did say. Um, let me get that real quick. Let me get that real quick. Oh, let's get it. Excuse me. Um, let me see some here. All right. Um, right. Um, Let's get it. This is Proverbs chapter one, verse seven. It says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instructions. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and destruction. 
All right. So what's the what's the what's the beginning of knowledge? The beginning of knowledge, the fear of the Lord. So Sirach, the second chapter is principle, man. All right. When you come into this truth, that's a chapter you should read right off the rip. All right. So this is back in first Peter chapter three and um, verse 14. But in, if ye suffer for righteousness sake, happy are ye and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. But sanctify the Lord Yahweh in your hearts, which is your mind. And be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. All right. So the point the point is, man, um, if you suffer in righteousness, happy are ye and be not afraid of their terror. Neither be troubled, man. All right. Because the Lord. All right. His eyes. The eyes of the Lord are over the righteous and his ears are open unto their prayers, man. And that's it, man. All right. So I hope you was edified. You know, by this lesson, hope it build on your faith, you know, um, continue to keep growing strong in the truth. Keep praying. Pray for brothers around the world teaching this truth. Pray for the apostles. Pray for the elders. Also put up Sir Salak Rayum, send evil. All right. Upon the wicked, man. Upon these, these scoffers. Upon these, um, the ones that misuse the prophets. Those that demonize us. You know, the, um, the, all of them that despise this truth, man. You know, the Lord say he's going to mock at your calamity. When your fear cometh. All right. So, you know, with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak Kodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom.